All righty, good day to you guys. So it is thankfully another glorious day in Sydney today. So we are um, going to go boating. You want to? We are off out. Yes, off out. We're going to yeah, off out, and we're going to go boating. Look at this. Kind of a difference from yesterday, isn't it? Tide's out. Yeah. Because the old tide is out. So yeah, it's a uh, kind of a difference. Anyway, yeah. So we're going to go boating today. Uh, now. We were initially planning on going to Briar. Yeah. Um, this is what we had decided last night. Um, however, they must have bad, was it tides, wasn't it? Well, because the tide is out, we can't get to Briar. Yeah, because basically, well. so basically, because the tide is out, we can't get to Briar very well until the afternoon. So they don't, they're not putting a boat on for Briar until I think it was like 2.30, I think it was. Two. Up to two, so two o'clock, which would mean we'd only have like two hours, two hours on on Briar. So we were like, yeah, not much point. So what we've decided to do is we have decided to um, do Bishop Rock. Now I know that we did Bishop Rock last time, but of course the last time we didn't see the puffins last time because it was not the puff the puffin season. It is this time. However, we are going to go down to the quay and obviously check first because there might be something else that catches our eye. But that's kind of the plan at the minute. First thing we've got to do though, is pick up some suntan lotion. Because we didn't want to burn. Do you know what I mean? Your I neck mean, is I'm already good. getting a bit, uh, I'm already catching the sun, especially on my neck. So yeah. Right then, suntan lotion, then to the key. Okay, so we've uh, acquired the uh, suntan lotion. Uh, and we're just waiting in the queue to actually go to buy the boat tickets and uh, then we'll be on our way pretty much, so yeah. So, hopefully this goes very painlessly. Apparently they're actually accepting cards now, which we'll see. Okay, so we've got the boat tickets and we're on our way now. So we're definitely going to be doing Bishop today. Um, so the chances are we should, in theory, you get to see the old coffins this, this season because last time we did Bishop we were too late to see them, so. Puffing birds today, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go down to um, slip three and get on the what we're on, the yeah. The osprey is what we're on, so yeah, well, I think we'll see you on the boat next. picked myself up a coffee because um, I didn't want a hot one. I got a cold one. So yeah. But I had that as well. Obviously got to wear a mask in the boat obviously because of the close quarters. Um, except for Jill she doesn't need to because she's got her thing on. So yeah. Um, yeah. So we're doing Bishop onto Agnes, right? Yeah so we're doing Bishop onto Agnes. We should hopefully see some puffins and stuff like that today. So should be good. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed yeah. A way to depart now. Oh! 
So we have just dropped off passengers at St Agnes and now we're going to be on our way to Bishop Rock. So, so yeah, obviously in the previous clips as well, you saw Wally, the, uh, the travelling walrus. Uh, he, was in, he was in Wales before he came to Scilly. Huh? Tenby. Yeah, Tenby in Wales before he came to Scilly. Um, and he's been here for more than like that, almost a week. <laughs> yeah, about, yeah, about a week almost. Um, so yeah, as you saw, he was just chilling in a in a rib there. So um, yeah, we were assuming what he'd done is he probably climbed into the boat in the in in the harbour, and because they can't go in to get him out, they've obviously towed him out to where he is in the boat. That's what we're assuming's happened anyway. So he can't exactly go near the top of thing. So, yeah, he seemed perfectly happy just chilling in that boat. So anyway. On to Bishop. Gun ship on the line. 
that was Sir Claisley Shovel's ship, a fairly important bloke at the time, Admiral of the Fleet. He managed to get into a long boat and uh, he got uh, wrecked again in that and ended up at Port Hellick. Those of you familiar with Port Hellick, the loaded camel up on the beach, there's a standing stone where he was initially buried, later reburied in Westminster Abbey. Several other ships lost that night, namely the uh, Eagle and the Romney, each side of the Bishop. You can see rocks to the left and away in the distance to the right. Uh, another ship called the Fire Brand went on the back of St. Agnes near the campsite, where we uh, came out. You could have seen it sort of quite close to the campsite, actually. Oh, there you go, the more you know. To be fair though, he did pretty well up to that point. He did very well up to that point. It was just the, the high swell of Bishop Rock, it just got him. And once he's once he's got you, he's got you. That's it, you're, you're done. So, <laughs> never mind. Bless him, but he started to feel a little bit better as we were pulling into the Magnus here. So anyway, on to the pub and go and get some grub. Okay, so it um, turns out that the Turk's Head pub on St Agnes is closed on Wednesdays. The one day we today decide to come here. You will say? Um, what's today? Yeah, today is Wednesday. So yeah. So um, 
instead we are where are we going to sir coast guard the coast guard cottages okay yeah coast guard cottages just up here somewhere so we're gonna go try that for lunch and ten hopefully we've got something if not it'll be ice cream for lunch yeah if not ice cream from Troy Town. Yeah, so the mission continues for food. Okay, so we made it to uh, Coast Guard Cafe. Um, managed to find a table. I had to wait a couple minutes to get one, but yeah, managed to get a table. Uh, Jill's just gone to the toilet to go and sort that out. And I'll be going after her and then we'll order some food. So, yeah. Check out this place. I haven't been there before, so this should be interesting. Okay, so, um, a bit slow paced service here, but then it is, it is, Agnes is a bit of a slow paced in general over here, isn't it, to be fair? And I think it's because they are busy. And they are busy, because obviously the uh, Turk's head's shut, so, uh, yeah. But food just arrived, so, uh, yeah, looking good, looking good. Looking forward to tucking in. So, Jill went for the, um, what was it, bacon, tomato and lettuce yep. toasty? Yep. Um, and I went for the uh, brie, tomato, and uh, lettuce roll. With a couple of packets of crisps, one each, and two glasses of sparkling water. So yeah, looks alright. Looks quite tasty. Big wedges of brie in me, uh, in me roll, but uh, give it a try and let you know the outcome. Right, okay then, guys. So we have now just left the uh, Coast Guard cafe. Um, the food was really nice. Really enjoyed that food actually. Uh, thoroughly enjoyable. Yeah, because you had giant chunks of brie. I had giant chunks of brie in me roll, and that roll was super fresh as well. Really, really nice. And you said your bacon was like awesome. fresh. Yeah, my bacon was like freshly done and lightly done how I like it. Yeah. So Mrs. A enjoyed hers. So, do you know what? I'd actually give that another solid eight. Yeah. Yeah. So, Coast Guard Cafe, solid eight out of ten. Not bad. Not bad. Um, the only thing that they kind of were a bit lacking on, like I say, was just the speed of service. But to be fair, they didn't have enough staff on for the number of people that they were having in. Now, whether or not that's all the staff they have, possible. Don't know. Don't know. Uh, especially say when you know that the Turks head pub is closed as well, you know that you're going to get an influx. So, anyway, never mind. Other than that, it was great. Let's continue on. Okay, so we have stopped off at Troy Town Farm, which is this little hut just here, for these ice cream. Jill's got one as well. I went for caramel fudge. Uh, they only had enough for one scoop of that, so I've got chocolate in mine as well. Jill's got a honeycomb in hers. But I'm telling you now, because the ice cream, you can't beat Troy Town, I'm sorry. So, okay, it's so creamy, it's ridiculous. Oh, hang on a minute, what's going on this way? It's criminal, actually. Uh, well, yes, this is definitely a holiday treat. So, yeah, so. No, once a holiday treat. That's what I'm saying, yeah. You just said a holiday treat. Well, you know what I mean. So, yes, Troy Town ice cream. Can't beat it, it's the best. So, yeah. I'm going to stand here, enjoy the, the view while I eat this. Ice cream, absolutely immense as always. And I was on to a winner because 
as Jill said, they ran out of the um, caramel fudge for two scoops full. So they gave me caramel fudge for one scoop and then was it double chocolate for the second scoop? I, I chose chocolate for the second scoop. Yeah, chocolate for the second scoop. <laughs> Which, by the way, is an absolutely winning combination. So yeah, awesome. So enjoyed that. So yeah, so we just cut through a bit of a field area where it looks like some school kids were you know, playing sports in some description. Didn't see what the sports was. Um, but yes, so we're now back on a trail again now and uh, continue to walk along, enjoying the glorious sunshine that is today. Talking of which, I am burning quite a bit actually. So uh, we did apply some sunscreen earlier on, but uh, I think it's a bit too late after yesterday. Never mind, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And I'm just going frickly. Yeah, Jill's just going frickly, which is what always happens when she catches the sun. It's just freckle. I don't know if you can make out the freckles in her arms at all. But look at this. Freckles! Yeah, whereas me, I just burn. Anyway, let's continue on. Okay, so uh, we have basically walked the entirety of the island, pretty much. Uh, oh, we've done half. Well, it's in the main track on about. We went up the main track and then back round half the coastal. Yeah, so up the main track, back round half the coastal. So obviously there's still the other half that we haven't done today, but we did do that uh, two, last, years yeah, two years ago. Yeah, it's on the other ago. vlog. It's on the other vlog uh, two years ago, which I'll actually put up in the uh, this corner up here. Uh, for you now, so I'll link that in there for you if you want to, if you want to have a look at that. Uh, so yeah, we're actually back at the Turk's Head uh, pub near the quay uh, because even though the Turk's Head's closed, there is some uh, some seating up here that is in the shade. We can chill out and relax until the, the boat arrives to take us back to St Mary's. So that's what we are going to do because it is really, really hot today. It's kind of like sapping, sapping our energy a little bit. But, uh, but no, yeah, had a good little... Uh, Walk around the island today, which is good. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get ourselves up to in the next few days as well. So, we try and we can get off to. It depends what the weather's doing. It's going to depend basically on what the weather's doing, though. This is the thing. So, it is forecast to rain for like the next three days. So, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, we're just going to chill out here for now and wait for the boat to arrive. So while we were uh, sitting down at the Turk's Head, we happened to notice the Golden Spray returning to St Agnes. So we thought we'd take the opportunity and uh, see if he's actually um, heading back a little bit early. Because if he is, and he's willing to take us, then we'll go. Because uh, like I say, we're, we're done on the island anyway here now. So and it'll be uh, good to get back and just chill out and whatnot. Plus I've also got to edit and upload this as well. So. It took a while yesterday. Yeah, I did have it, but then I think that's just gone dead into that. It, well, yeah, the prefer the internet is a little bit slower, so it's not what we're used to. <laughs> anyway, so we'll check with the uh, boat captain, see what he says. Okay, so uh, no, we have to wait until the quarter four um, before we can get back, which is not a problem. It's not long, to be fair. It's only what uh, 20 minutes, not bad of a wait. So we'll wait until that, uh, that time arrives and go then. Okay, so our boat has arrived. Um, we're now going back on the Sapphire. Um, obviously, it's filling up the current lease, so we're waiting for everyone to get on board. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be a busy one this time on the way back. There's a lot of people getting on. So, busy old trip, mate. Mrs. Egg. 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 We start moving because otherwise we'll get lost in the window and lost to see. No, we don't want that. Anyway, sit here, chill out, wait till we go back. Okay then, so we are back on um, so St Mary's, back on dry land. Uh, obviously on the way back we slowed down to uh, see what Wally the walrus was doing. He's been 
been chilling out in that boat all bloody day. All day. The lazy bastard. Lazy fucker. Just chilling. How is he asleep? Just fast asleep in that boat. Tell you. Tell you one thing though. I do feel sorry for whoever, is, uh, whoever, whoever owns that rib because uh, <laughs> Molly's just asleep in the back of it. So of course he's weighing it down at the rear and it's just like water's getting on board it. So yeah, you know now. This time tomorrow the boat could be sank and he might be back in the water himself. <laughs> at the rate he's going. Anyway, right, we're gonna go start off at the pharmacy and go and get some after sun for these red raw arms of mine. Yeah, and then head on back to the house. All right, so as you can see, we're back in the car. Uh, we successfully got some after sun. I mean, to just, I mean, just look at these. Look, look at that. See that redness on my arm. And let's see your face. And that arm as well. And you can probably see it on my face as well. I definitely caught the sun today. Yay. So yeah, because I can feel it in my arms. I can feel my arms burning. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sorry. My arms getting Mrs. A's way when she's trying to reverse out. So yeah, uh, but now anyway, we're on our way back to the house now. So yeah, all good. So we'll get back to the house. And uh, yeah, it's been a lovely day today, isn't it? It's been lovely. Lovely weather. Lovely weather. So yeah, good so boat had, trip. Even though we've had breeze and it was a little choppy. Yeah, it didn't bother us though. Yeah, we have successfully got colour. Indeed. It's not brown. I'm red. But... Not yet. <laughs> I've turned red. I'm like a lobster. But we wouldn't have got this at home. Very true. Very true oh indeed. God. Very true indeed. And Mrs. A, as you can tell, is tired because she's had a bit of a long day. Bless her. Too much fresh air. Too much fresh air for clear. her. Clean yeah. air. Clean air. Yeah. Very nice. The air is extremely clean in Surrey because that's just not the uh, just not, not the pollution you get on the mainland. You know what I mean? And also to the fact we were out on a boat in the sea. And there's that too. Yeah course so anyway let's head back to the house right then okay then guys we have just arrived back to the house well we're outside the house but yeah we're house just over here mrs a is just there so yeah we're back home now yeah um, we're gonna chill out for the rest of the day totally totally chill out yeah mrs a is probably gonna fall asleep on the sofa to be honest because yeah. she's had too much fresh air i'm gonna stick some of this after sun on because otherwise i'm gonna have a problem and uh yeah just chill out. So that'll be the end of today's vlog, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. We certainly have. Yes. So uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. And also smash that subscribe button as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if you do hit that subscribe button as well, make sure you do click that little uh, notification bell next to it. And that will let you know each and every single time we upload a new vlog for your faces. So yeah, until the next time, take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye.